everyone, we have some announcements for today. So Sunday Catechism classes will be back to normal on April 28th. And then we have the Rite of Christian Initiation, RCIA. Sessions will begin in mid-June. Persons with special needs and their families are cordially invited to a celebration of the Holy Mass with Archbishop Julian Lau on April 27th from 10 a.m. at Sacred Heart Church. The Mass will be followed by a dialogue session with Archbishop Julian. There will also be the Worldwide Marriage Encounter Weekend. This will be from June 21st to June 23rd at the Archdiocese Pastoral Center. There will also be the Retroville Living Weekend. Couples who are having issues in their marriage, we invite you to attend this session from the 7th to 9th of June. And please refer to the bulletin for all announcements. Thank you.
Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us rise and recite the prayer of Pope Francis for vocations. As this weekend, together with the Feast of the Good Shepherd, we also celebrate Vocation Sunday. Let us pray together. Lord of the harvest, bless young people with the gift of courage to respond to your call. Open their hearts to great ideals, to great things. Inspire all of your disciples to mutual love and giving. For vocations blossom in the good soil of faithful people. Instill those a religious life, parish ministries, and families with the confidence and grace to invite others to embrace the bold and noble path of a life consecrated to you. Unite us to Jesus through prayer and sacrament so that we may cooperate with you in building your reign of mercy and truth, of justice and peace. Amen. Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Christ, happy feast day. <laughs> so today we are celebrating Good Shepherd Sunday or Parish Feast Day. So you know another way for us to express. The fourth Sunday Easter is we call Vocation Sunday. When about vocation, we always think about me. Because I'm very handsome. 
Because the pulau air now like for the Mitchell. Okay, so but the occasion, you really think about young priests, handsome priests, sometimes old priests like for Mitchell, sisters. <laughs> so I think occasion, all the people who are in this area. You have a nice circle here. So all the religious people are vocation. Vocation means all of us are called for vocation. Our fundamental calling is to live and grow in holiness. It is the entrance team. We are the sons and daughters of of king. Okay? Our king is holy, holy of holiest. So we as sons and daughters of God must follow the father's way. My father have one million, I'll say, daddies belong to me. If my heavenly father have the holiness, I must inherit that holiness. That's a fundamental calling. So as today we celebrate the Good Shepherd Feast, our parish feast day, all of us to ask ourselves, am I able to listen to the Good Shepherd's voice? Sometimes we could not hear what the Good Shepherd is saying because too busy, too busy in our life journey. For the moments that we fail to listen to the Good Shepherd's voice, let us ask for God's forgiveness and mercy because the Good Shepherd will guide us. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
Almighty ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. திருத்தூதர் பணிகள் நூலிலிருந்து வாசகம் அந்நாள்களில் பேதுரு தூய ஆவியால் ஆட்கொள்ளப்பட்டு கூறியது மக்கள் தலைவர்களே மூப்பர்களே உடல் நலமற்றிருந்த இவருக்கு நாங்கள் செய்த நற்செயல் எப்படி நிகழ்ந்தது என்பதை குறித்து நாங்கள் இன்று விசாரணை செய்யப்படுகிறோம் நசரித்து இயேசுவின் பெயரால் இவர் நலமடைந்து நம்முடன் நிற்கிறார் இது உங்கள் எல்லாருக்கும் இஸ்ரேல் மக்கள் அனைவருக்கும் தெரிந்திருக்கட்டும் நீங்கள் இயேசுவை சிலுவையில் அறைந்தீர்கள் ஆனால் கடவுள் இறந்த அவரை உயிருடன் எழுப்பினார் இந்த இயேசுவை கட்டுகிறவர்களாகிய உங்களால் இகழ்ந்து தள்ளப்பட்ட கல் ஆனாலும் முதன்மையான மூளை கல்லாக விளங்குகிறார் இவராலே அன்றி வேறு எவராலும் மீட்பு இல்லை ஏனென்றால் நாம் மீட்பு பெறுமாறு வானத்தின் கீழ் மணிரத்தர் இடையே இவரது பெயரன்றி வேறு எந்த பெயரும் கொடுக்கப்படவில்லை இது ஆண்டவரின் அருள்வாக்கு stone which the builders rejected has become the TV 
恭读《圣若望》一书，可爱的诸位，请看父赐给我们何等的爱情，使我们得称为天主的子女，而且我们也真是如此。世界所以不认识我们，是因为不认识父。可爱的诸位。现在我们是天主的子女，但我们将来如何还没有显明。可是我们知道，一显明了，我们必要相似他，因为我们要看见他实在怎样。天主的圣言。Together, I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep, and my own know me. Be with you. Proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said. 
I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd is one who lays down his life for his sheep. The hired man, since is not the shepherd, and the sheep do not belong to him, abandons the sheep and runs away. As soon as he sees a wolf coming, and then the wolf attacks and scatters the sheep. This is because he is only a hired man and has no concern for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me, just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for my sheep. And there are other sheep I have that are not of this fold, and these I have to lead as well. They too will listen to my voice, and there will be only one flock and one shepherd. The Father loves me because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me. I lay down of my own free will, and it is in my power to lay it down. So it is in my power to take it up again. And this is the command I have been given by my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters Christ, past one week, we are reflecting this theme of fostering a prayerful community. Today is the climax for this parish as it celebrates our parish peace day. We are inviting to reflect deeper on this theme, fostering a prayerful community, the light of mission. So prayer and mission comes together. So today, when I prepare my homily for today's Mass, I want to talk about a lot of things about occasion. Being the occasion director of Ashley's Kuala Lumpur, I thought to promote occasion today. At least got 10 plus joint seminary next week. <laughs> but before the Mass, I decided not to do that. I asked two Wardens, I think two wardens, young wardens, ask them, if I preach a vocation today, you want to become priest or not? No, Father. So I decided not to preach a vocation today. Just think about prayer and mission. So today, when we celebrate the Good Shepherd Sunday, vocation Sunday, our four Francis give us a theme for this year. Today is the 61st World Day of Prayer for Vocation. All of us are called to sow seeds of hope and build peace. All of us, fathers, seminarians, all of us together, people of God, we are called to sow the seeds and build peace. So, all of us have something to do. Very interestingly, we all baptize. We've got three moniras. Yes, we are priests, we are king, and we are prophets. And sir, father and myself, we are sharing the ministry of priesthood. We are in these three moniras also. Priest, king, and prophet. So all of us in this valley become king. What's the role of a king? What is the role of a king? To lead the people that are entrusted under his care. 
King Solomon asked, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom so I can lead the people that you entrusted under my care. So I can lead them accordingly. So all of us are kings. We are called to lead someone to right path. So all of us have this occasion. Now I want to ask a question. Do you think really your vocation? How many of you willing to listen to your parish priest? Whatever Father Mitchell says, yes, Father, I'm listening to you. Is anyone listening to Father Mitchell? No one raising hands. Father, sorry, Father. <laughs> Only brother raised hand. Wives, how many of you listen to your husband? Husband, how many of you listen to your wife? <laughs> ah, only one person. Okay? So, brother, you got a vocation. You know why? The word vocation comes from the word vocare. That means we listen. For the moment we listen to someone, then we vocation. When you go to school, we listen to the teacher. That's a vocation. A vocation to learn. To study in kindergarten until form five, go to college. We go to our catechism class. We listen to their catechism. It's another vocation. As a seminarian, we go to seminary, eight years of formation. We listen to the, the formators. Sometimes the formators are very good. Sometimes, okay. But we still listen because. Be on the formation. Husbands, you are listening to wives. It's a formation because during we celebrate the sacrament of holy matrimony, we are no more two, we are becoming one. No more two, we are becoming one. I will listen to you, you listen to me. As a parish priest and the parish community, we dialogue, we listen. Synodality Church, then we grow from there. So for the moment we listen to one another, that means your vocation. So now we need to express the vocation in our daily lives. Many of us, many of us cannot reach the mission fields on our feet, but we can reach them on our knees. Many of us want to do mission. I want to walk like hero king. Cannot. When we, we only can reach them when we go down on our knees. Last Friday, when I came for the con celebrate mass for the anointing of sick, I saw the two senior servers seated there, the uncle sitting there, one senior server. First I thought, how uncle going to serve like this mass? Too old already. But during Eucharistic prayer, uncle very steady, you know, kneeling here, yeah, ringing the bell. See, the importance of kneeling down in front of Jesus Christ, in whatever age, you are young, old, to know, will draw the strength from Jesus himself when you go for mission. Many of us think that I want to go mission, mission, mission. Mission doesn't mean carry an umbrella, put a Bible here, one back here. Did you find Christ? Since when I lost Christ? I didn't lose Christ, why? I didn't lose Christ in my life. So, no need to find. You got salvation in your life? Yes, Jesus died for my salvation. So, mission is not to go to every, everybody's house and asking questions. Mission always oriented in the form of prayer. When we come, we kneel and pray. Our mission begins at home. Today when we celebrate this vocation Sunday, Good Shepherd Sunday, many of our vocations become question mark. 
sort of your priests, sort of your religious. The amount of divorce going through in the families, the occasion of marriage is shattered. The reason is, but the vocation, we think, on altar. Vocation in our own families to nurture the family. Because we're not going down, reaching our vocation on our knees. For the moment we spend prayer in one family, then we can find all the ways, all the means to encounter God's mercy. Prayer is the mighty engine that is to move, to move the missionary work. Prayer is the mighty engine that is move the missionary work. The missionary work that we are leaving as husband wife to build the family, the holy family. Prayer is the engine. Sometimes we not start in the engine. Not service the engine. But I want to drive to Penang. I want to drive to JB. Without having a proper mode of transport, we cannot reach our destination. Without prayer, we cannot reach our heavenly home. Our eternal home. So, when we think about mission, let us think about prayer. So, how to deepen this area of mission? The spirit of Christ is the spirit of mission. If you think that good shepherd is my savior, my shepherd, then you have the spirit of mission. The nearer we get to him, the nearer we walk to Jesus, the more intensely missionaries we if today, Pope Francis suddenly want to visit Good Shepherd Church in Stapa, is celebrating Mass at this place, all of you will be sitting here. Not when the priest can come celebrate here, all of us come too close. Good, because we want to see Pope Francis, the leader of the Catholic Church. We are so excited. But how many of us closer to the king of kings because we are the sons and daughters of the king. When we come nearer to him, then we know what the aspect of mission. When Jesus appeared to the disciples after the resurrection, first he said, peace be with you because they are in the terrible state. You know what happening? All confused. Just give peace with you. Now I'm sending you to go out to the whole world to proclaim the good news, proclaim the good news, and baptize in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We must proclaim the good news. For the moment we share this good news, then we know. We are glorifying, not me, not ourselves, but we are glorifying God himself. When was last I shared about my joyful thing, my encounter with the Lord, with my children? Many times you want to share about our own vocation story. We don't share a vocation story. That how the Lord touched my life. We fail to share this. If we don't share, there's no encounter. Because vocations are not the result of planning. But an encounter with God that changes our life. Many times we plan. For the moment we enter seminary, the first day, after we set up our room, the next thought comes to our mind, ah, next eight years I become priest. I'll buy this vestment, I'll buy that chalice, I'll go there, go here. So excited about thinking about ordination. 
is nothing wrong. We are human. All that planning. But it's only sustained for one week, two weeks. He asked brother or father, it will sustain for two weeks. But think about ordination. Third week, we'll end up in prayer room. Because new things to cope up. Studies. You must get up early in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. You ask father, father was formated in seminary. You late, you must go to the rector. Father, sorry, father. I overslept. The third week, we come to reality that we know we must come to Jesus. Lord, give me the strength to continue another eight years in seminary. So, we know the planning is important, but encountering the Lord. See, the two disciples, what happened? On the way to Amaos, they encounter the risen Lord. After encountering, even though it's night, no? The first they thought, we will stay here because it's evening, difficult to travel, everything. That was the first conversation. After encounter the Lord, whether night or morning or shining or raining, they went back to Jerusalem immediately. Because encounter allowed them to become missionary disciples. Missionary disciples. Sometimes, what the understanding missionary disciples? We are giving ourselves totally to God. Sometimes we want to become volunteers. Volunteers will come, I do something, if Father says something, thank you, Father. Don't, I won't come to church anymore. I'll wait for until next transfer. That's the volunteer mentality. If the disciples, whether night or day, they will go back to Jesus to proclaim the good news. Dear Brothers Christ, all of us are called to share this good news. So, we talk about the good shepherd. The good shepherd, first of all, gives life for all of us. Giving life to one another is the greatest thing that we can do. Jesus gave life to us. In return, what I can give. In return, what I can give. We just follow the mandate of Christ. That is, we proclaim the good news and baptize everyone. We are the prime movers to bring everyone closer to the Good Shepherd. We bring this our work to bring people to the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd will nurture them, journey with them, accompany them. So, prayer is the only tool that we can promote vocation in our families, in our communities. Vocation towards priesthood, religious life, and family life. Without prayer, we cannot go anywhere. Finally, we know Matthew chapter 19, verse 37, 38, 38 says, The house plenty, the laborers are few. The house is plenty, the laborers are few. What kind of harvest that we are talking? One is basically priesthood, religious life, of course. Then the parish ministry. Many parishes struggling to revive back the parish setting after this pandemic. The vocation is to involve the parish ministries. Sometimes we come to church every Sunday, one hour I spend time here, after that, don't disturb me. I've got another mission outside. Of course, all of us got mission outside. But how many of us really to can give what I have to the Lord? Of course, a lot of work to be done. A lot of ministries in the parish. We cannot involve in everything. Don't involve. Be involved, your family gone. So let us give what I have. 
Mary gave a yes to the divine plan. Joseph said yes to the divine plan. Jesus, being obedient to the Father, accepted the Father's will. Then all of us, the sons and daughters of King, let us do God's will. Saudara dan saudari kasihi, pada hari ini kita menyambut perayaan penggembala Yesus Kristus atau Minggu Panggilan. Yesus Kristus panggil kita semua untuk mendengar apakah panggilan gembala baik itu. Gembala baik itu meminta kita semua supaya kita akan mengukuhkan perhubungan kita, tali perikatan kita dengan Yesus Kristus dan kita akan meningkatkan persahabatan kita. Dan kita akan maju dalam kerohaniwan. Dalam kehidupan kita kerohani. Marilah kehidupan kita menjadi penuh dengan makna. Pada hari ini gembala baik memberikan nyawanya kepada gembala ke, kepada kita semua. Semasa dia memberikan nyawa kita dapat nyawa yang baru, tenaga yang baru supaya kita bersyukur, berterima kasih kepada Yesus Kristus di atas semua kesyukurannya. Semasa kita doa, barulah kita tahu apakah ertinya misi. Kadang-kadang kita ingat, saya dipanggil untuk mission, pelayanan. Tetapi pelayanan tiada dengan doa itu adalah pelayanan yang kosong pelayanan mesti digabungkan dengan doa-doa kita barulah pelayanan itu mengikut keendah Tuhan kadang-kadang kita menjadi murid-murid Yesus Kristus memang kita dipanggil menjadi murid-murid Yesus Kristus tetapi kita mestilah menjadi murid Yesus Kristus yang setia itu yang penting menjadi setia kepada panggilan kita. Marilah kita berdoa pada hari ini di mana kita menyambut pesta paroki ini. Kita akan mengukuhkan tali persahabatan kita dengan Yesus Kristus dan kita akan mengukuhkan panggilan kita. Anbang sagu sagu di le in the nam dewa alatul nair al nallai nair wek kondari gitu. Nampak panggil tu, nalla yang panggil, nalla yang panggil, nampak dia panggil terulang lagi kundaran bodi. Nalla yang nampak ke, awal dia, uirai kuriti, nampai balik nanti balik gintar. Orang nalla yang ini bawa, nampak kembali khati gintar. Agi al nampak dia balik kill, namp ane berum, nalla ayang lah yang rende, matre balik balik nanti balik gintar. Irai ban enak kuriti day, nampak kuriti gintar. Irai ban enak balu kuriti tar, nampak balu, anda balu maliaga matre balu balik ke balik. Irai mana nak kurang alipai kurikin dar, anda alipin balik jaga, nan in wal kiri mati amek kebelu. Irai alat itu lana di, nan pod titet satu titet tenggal alle. Irai alat itu lana di, wort titet malle. Anal, irai mana udik kunde, nerk mana, aiki mana, uraibin, ada yang. Nam irai mana udik, aiki mana uraibin irkan boleh di, kandi paga. Nalain, nampak balik nak tuar. Nalain, nyanyi tuar, nampak balik nak tuar. Nalain mudah buat pada kiri. Ayat tuaran deh, nampak dia wal kiri. Nalain, pura le kiri, wal kiri mati. Kami pada kaga, itu terpali bentuk lu. Mari lah kita mucahkan syadat. I believe in God.
consecration of the Father, to bring all things to me, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, he was in the hand of the Virgin Mary, and he came in. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who will proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead. Let us offer our intentions, Heavenly Father. 主，求你使至圣之宫的天主教会能服务那些行走在黑暗中的人，以延续复活基督的胜利。我们同声祈祷，求主扶听我们。Kita berdoa agar para lelaki dan wanita yang berjuang untuk hak asasi manusia. Tidak akan mengikuti pemimpin yang palsu atau dengan cara keganasan. Kami berdoa kepada Tuhan. Kamu kanlah doa kami ya Tuhan. Irai makhluk vali nanti selle, adi gamaan guru ana urgali guru akira andevere umme ino ki mandrari giro. Andevere engel mandrari kekiterlo. That our young people may have life and have it to the full through fidelity to the Good Shepherd. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all seminarians, especially Brother Albert and Brother Andrew Yi from our parish, for them to grow in wisdom and health, and to continue their formations to become priests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause for our personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of Harvests, thank you for listening to all our prayers and granting them in your time. Lord Jesus, give us the grace to be faithful in our life, in our mission, and continue to walk in your path. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kodai tarvan. 
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice yours be acceptable to God, your Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of unending joy. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks, Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, a duty in our salvation. At all times, acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to Lord you more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us. He never pleads our cause before you. 
is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the name of your glory as they acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered within his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, suppose and he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that, partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may gather into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church, spread toward the world, and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with, Trans with Francis our Pope and Julian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Lord, we pray for every evil, we graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always free from sin and save from our distress. <coughs> so with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said the apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other, each other a sign of peace. Peace with you. Away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd. May be pleased to settle the eternal pastures, the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. So thank you very much for your presence uh, to being here with us all towards from Monday onwards. Thank you. Uh, yesterday was a beautiful experience. They were all wondering before going to our procession. They were all praying, especially our young people and elders. Hope no rain, hope no rain, hope no rain. And no rain, mark of faith. And as we were making our pilgrimage back to the church, we had the Blessed Sacrament in front of us, but right in front of the Blessed Sacrament, we had all the young people, you know, the servers, the, the children, throwing flowers, and all going in a straight procession behind us, the whole group of people. And as we were going, we saw experience, many people from different faith were taking photographs, some were closing their hands and worshipping, you know, bowing down to the Blessed Sacrament, all throughout, you know. So I was amazed, really amazed last night. This is true mission. Huh? Same thing. Tonight, tonight, you carry this candle, Alone, alone, seven o'clock, carry this candle alone. You go in procession alone. Blessed be God, blessed be God. You just sing alone all throughout the streets and come. You know what will happen? When we go as a group, huh, everybody praise God, adore and all that, no? They appreciate us. You go alone, huh? Late at night, I'll get phone call. Police department. Inche, ni orang dari rumahnya gereja ka? Ya, ya, ya. Saya ingat dia kita kena hantar dia tanjolan tanah. See? Sure one, they will get us out. When we do together as a community, that is participation. Communion, participation, mission. When we do together, we are always in mission. No? We do alone, we end up in Okay, So we, that's what I experienced. All the language groups coming together, praising God, praying together. We are all one community. So I want to specially thank all the leaders, all the liturgical groups, choir, those that did the decorations, you know, all of them. You know, I don't be particular to a particular group, but all. 
you know, including all of you. Thank you. And God bless you always. Thank you. Father Wilson is coming from Rawang St. Jude's Church. You know, October is his feast. He already told me when I'm preaching there. You know, and uh, he was just saying, you know, earlier, uh, Father has lost, my, I'm already no hair and all that, not so handsome, you know. And he got a lot of hair. So I like to tell him this. Uh, a lot of young people who have hair are already cutting their head bald. You know, you know why? Because bald is handsome. <laughs> so, the next time Father Vincent comes, he'll be bald. You can't wait. <laughs> okay, so he gave us a beautiful sermon today, something to take back home, listening, wakare, uh, listening to the voice of God. And he mentioned about the three gifts, you know, priest, prophet, king. They are all gifts God has given us. You know, when through baptism, God has given us these gifts. So what we become, what we become is our gift to God. What He gives us is gift to us. What we become is our gift to God. So we want to thank Father for this wonderful homily you gave us. <laughs> you cannot forget also Father Patrick. You know, you're just recovering from... Uh, the accident a few months ago. He's already recovering very well. And uh, he, in fact, he has already started his uh, assignment in St. Jo uh, Joseph's Parish, St. Jude. Tomorrow is his feast, their feast. At 8 o'clock is the Mass. And May 1st, 5.30 is their main feast. So keep yourself free on that day. Let us go and support him and the parish. Eh? You are the preacher. Huh? Oh, it's anniversary. Wedding. Huh? <laughs> oh, priestly anniversary. Okay. Okay, that's his anniversary. So we will all be there for sure to support. Okay. So thank you very much also for Father. We pray that he will. He was a bit late because he had Mass in Risen Christ. So after that, he, was, he came here. Uh, he's the administrator of Reason Christ. Okay, so thank you again to all of you, and wishing you all a blessed peace. So I take this opportunity to thank Father Mitchell for inviting me to break the word of God. And the celebrates Eucharist. So thank you, Father, for the opportunity to be here. So I got two things to share with all of you. First thing, I thought the people in Rawang very powerful. But today I must admit, people in Stapa very powerful than Rawang people. <laughs> Don't worry, David, come, come. Thank you very much. Because last year, feast day, we pray very hard for procession, already, every rain. <laughs> so this year, y'all pray, a good procession. So now, I want to test all of you. From now onwards, please pray for our feast day of procession. <laughs> if no rain, I'll admit y'all very powerful. <laughs> you got rain, something wrong. <laughs> the second thing is, you know, Archdiocese Kuala Lumpur, every ministry is doing very well. Father Frederick in charge of SVP. You're doing very great things, a lot of meetings, board meetings, discussion going on. All the ministries doing something. Except only one ministry, that's my ministry. Less production. <laughs> every time in record, our monthly recollection, everyone starts presenting about their ministries. My ministry is Koso. Because my ministry is Archdiocesan Vocation Promotion Team. I'm the priest in charge. No one wants to join seminary. 
So my ministry is very weak now. So please pray for vocation. Okay, please pray for vocation. Surely, when God call you, He will qualify the call. Don't worry, we won't make you priest or religious overnight. It's a process of journeying, accompanying with all of you. So if you have anything to ask, share with us. You can talk to Father Mitchell, my friend or myself, brother here. Come talk to us. You can email to me, vincentarchcare.org. So I'll be able to accompany you, guide you on. So don't be afraid. Life of priests, very good. Whether got air, no air, we all still answer. I come to conclusion. A very good life. See, we are all smiling only. So you become priest or religious, happy life only. But agree? Okay. Please stand. The Lord be with you. Bow down for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer you the gift of redemption and adoption, give you gladness by His blessing. May He, who, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you as an eternal inheritance. May you, who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven. Amen. And may bless Him, Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come down on you, remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. So this is what will happen. Fathers will be sitting in front, both of them. You bring, send all your children here to the front. I will be blessing them with holy water. And the good shepherds will be giving them gifts to the children. Okay?
Tidaklah kembalaku Tidak kekurangan aku Ia memberikan aku Di ladang yang berumput hijau Ia membimbing